The Soybean School on realagriculture.com is brought to you by Pride Seeds, Preaxer Zemium Fungicide, and Cruiser Max Vibrance Beans. Hi, I'm Bernard Tobin. Welcome to the Soybean School. Catching up today with Matt Chappell, Pride Agronomist. Matt, how's it going? It's going well, Vern. Now, I'm looking at what you have in your hands, and your right hand is doing better than your left hand. Um, it is that time of year, you know, we're into pest situations. In a dry year like this, what do you got happening here? Looks like spider mites. It sure is, Bern. What a telltale sign of plants that quickly fall behind. They bronze off. They start by some, maybe some yellowing, some mottling on the upper parts and then they just give up. So Matt, tell us a little bit about the life cycle of spider mites. You know, what are we in for this time of year? Yeah, I mean, this is about the perfect environment for spider mites. They, they love 20 degrees. They, you know, don't do as well when they start getting 30 plus degrees Celsius. Uh, they love when there's some humidity, maybe some dampness low in the canopy, and they can continue to thrive and reproduce and lay their eggs and just Happy, 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 happy. What about yield losses? What's the impact? Um, what can we see? Yeah, so the problem with spider mites, right, is the timing. They come in in July. Uh, now this year, what we're seeing is we never had the rainfall to wash them away. They've continued to just cycle. They've continued to just reproduce. Typically, you see some in a small patch in, in July when wheat harvest starts, maybe the grass is browning off, and, and then a, a nice one or two inches of rain and the pest is kind of suppressed enough that they don't continue to take over our beans. Yeah. What about thresholds now? When do we, should we control? Yeah, really, you know, scouting down lower in the canopy along your field edges is your best approach. Look for that kind of discoloration first, and really all it takes is four spider mites per leaflet, but you can't just see them with your naked eye burn. Like, it's a 10x magnifying glass nice. to really identify them because they're very small, and they're going to be on the underside of your leaves. Yeah. Hey, final question. Now, not a heck of a lot we can do to prevent this year, but you know, next year rolls around, we see these type of situations. Anything we can do? Yeah, I mean, if, if we leave some grass, uh, maybe a bit of a foraging area for these pests along our field edges, stop mowing everything right down mm -hmm. and, and spraying off all the weeds, right al or not all the grass along mm -hmm. the field edges. We don't want those weeds, of course. Mm -hmm. But, you know, leaving a bit of an area for them to uh, reside in rather than taking, uh, you know, taking up shop in our soybean fields, that can help it. You know, obviously we can't do anything about when rain comes and the timing of that, but, you know, targeting this pest when we do see pressure, maybe spot spraying early mm -hmm. can help us reduce the amount of life cycles if dry weather patterns persist. Well, Matt, it really is the year of the pest. Hey, thanks for taking the time. Always great to have you on Soybean School. Thanks, Brian.